Rafikis, it's that time of the week again. I'm back. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to sit and style your dining room table. In the first half of the video, I show you what my dining room table looks like on a normal day, on an ordinary basis, and then I show you the items that you're going to need to sit and style it, and then I style it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you do, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Enjoy! So essential number one in setting your table is of course a dinner plate. I'm using white classic dinner plates over here. You can use whatever it is that you like. I normally use white dinner plates or black dinner plates. You can never go wrong with these. And then I'm complementing them with these soup bowls over here that I bought from Pep Home. I love the black trimming of this. I think they are so chic. They are so dainty and it really depends on what type of food you're going to be serving your guests. Uh, that will really uh, uh, determine what type of plates you're going to use. So for this setting, I'm using a normal dinner plate and a soup bowl. And then number two, your second essential are napkins. I'm using linen napkins. These I bought from Pep Home. They were only $15. I thought that was such a good price point. I love how they look. I love the texture of them. And I just knotted mine. You can use a napkin ring, but I wanted something simpler and very easy to do. And I knotted mine and I'll show you how to do this in the rest of the video. Essential number three for setting your dining table is of course your cutlery. Over here I'm using a full set of cutlery because I'll be serving a three course meal. So I've got cutlery for a main course, dessert and a starter over there. Over to this side I've got my glassware. I've just got these big glasses. Uh, these can be used as wine glasses, as water glasses, as juice glasses. I got these as a gift from Emily. Thank you Emily and they're from at home. And they can also actually be used for champagne. I attended a champagne party, a Veuve Glicor champagne party, and we made use of these for drinking our champagne that evening. So they are multi-purpose. I love them. And the flutes, the champagne flutes are also from at home. So dining room table essential number five are your candles. I love to use these long taper candles. I bought these from at home. The taper candle holder is also from at home. Unfortunately, I only had two, uh, so I had to make due of these other ones. I bought these ones from Pep Home, uh, and they were silver initially, so I spray painted them gold because sometimes a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do to get the job done. Hey, hey. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to number six. These are charger plates. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people use these as plates in the north at weddings because they were trying to steal food. Guys, these are not for food. These under plates are purely decorated and of course to protect your dining room table from the heat that may be coming from the dinner plate. So these are just decorative. I got them from at home, $55. I love them because they're natural and they bring a nice natural element to the table. So last but not least is the centerpiece. I know this looks dodgy as hell, but let me explain. So every dining room table needs a centerpiece and it's usually flowers. Flowers are expensive. I'm a florist. I know flowers can be expensive sometimes. If you're not trying to spend that type of money, guys, you use foliage. This is foliage that I got from, you know, those people who sell fruits under that tree in Klein Ventog Eros. Yeah, those people who sell really nice fruits for a really good price. They sit under this big tree. This is that big tree. I just went there and took some of these branches and I'm going to make it work. You'll see. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the main part of the video, which is me basically setting my table and showing you how it's done. I'm just going to fast forward this a little bit and I hope you are able to follow.
So just some quick tips when you're setting your table with the cutlery. Uh, the idea is to, remember when you're eating, the idea is always to start from the outside going inside. So your forks and your knives for the main course will be inside and will be inside and the forks for your starter will be outside. I did it wrongly here because I actually did it the opposite way. So I need to check myself on that. I, I don't know what I was thinking when I did this. But anyway, so your starter fork will be on the outside and then you move into your main fork or your main course fork if that makes sense yeah and then with the glassware you need to make sure that your the first glass you're going to make yourself let's say it's your water glass is going to be inside first and then the one you're going to drink wine with will be after that and then also i try to put uh, my glassware always on the right hand side this is uh, based on the assumption that the person you're serving is right-handed which is the majority of people So finally, my favorite thing about setting a dining room table is the centerpiece, of course. So usually, like I said in the beginning of the video, this will be a nice arrangement of flowers. But if your budget doesn't allow that, then just do what I'm doing here, which is really cheap and as effective. And it's also very stylish and chic. These um, leafy garlands are all the rage right now and everybody's doing them. And you can do it half the price if you do it yourself, if you make use of your own foliage, like I said. I got this just from one of the city trees, you know, just across the road, uh, the inclined ventook, and it really worked well. So this is eucalyptus tree, this is eucalyptus foliage, and not only does it look good and chic, it also smells really good, and there's a nice minty smell at the table. So that really works, guys, so don't stress yourself about getting a floral centerpiece, you use what you have. After the centerpiece, I just included the candles that you see there and I'm going to light them on just before the guests arrive and then I just put the napkins on. So that's it Rafiki's. This is how the tablescape turned out. I'm so happy with it. It was so effortless. I hope you are able to learn a thing or two from this video. Remember to like and subscribe and I'm going to put uh, all the products I use in the description box below. Let me know what you think. I always love to engage with you guys. Thank you once again for watching. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you. Night night.